hi my name's ooze pop this is being streamed live on twitch but you're probably watching this on youtube after it's already been streamed live if you want to catch these things live follow me on twitch.tv slash ooze pop today i'm going to talk about a movie that i watched last night it's called hereditary my partner and i zero two we stayed up a little bit to watch hereditary last night before uh chuck sandos and i were supposed to play some video games um the video games did not end up happening but you know what that's totally fine because we ended up watching a good movie and it was a good night okay so hereditary is an a24 movie and i've been utterly obsessed with a24 movies anything from a24 i will watch it i don't even care if it's bad and i don't care if i know it's bad going in i want to watch every a24 movie i'm obsessed with a24 and i want to watch every single a24 release okay now hereditary is a horror film you know that pretty pretty early into the movie you can tell it's going to be a horror film um, it's a good horror film. It was definitely better than Men. That's for damn sure. It's definitely better than Men. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna get right into it. We're gonna make this a short review, so if you don't like spoilers, click off this video. Tune away from the stream. If you don't mind spoilers, this movie is older, okay? So it doesn't matter. It's not being spoiled. Just go watch the movie, okay? Um... I watched Charlie's review of it, that's Moist Critical, aka Penguins Zero, or whatever. I watched his review of it after I already watched the movie, and I sort of agree with him a little bit. He says that the movie was really, really good, like top notch, until the last 10 minutes of the movie. I think that's a little generous. I think it does start to, like, trail down. The movie is making sense and keeps, like, at least slightly is making sense and is keeping you, like, strung along. And then by the end, and this is weird how A24 movies continue to do this. By the end of the movie, it's completely lost. Like, you're no longer, like, you're like, okay, I think I know where this is going. I think I know where this is going. I think I know where this is going. And then the very end of the movie is like, yeah, you thought you knew? You didn't fucking know. And it just, womp, right? That doesn't make it a bad movie. It just makes it a confusing movie that needs a little bit more in-depth analysis. You can't just watch it the once and be like, okay, I get it. Good movie. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure there's some people out there like that, but this movie... um. I liked it, but there's just some weird things about it that just confuse me as a viewer. Now, I'm just a normie, okay? Maybe I'm just a dumb normie and I don't get it, but I, I just don't understand. Like, towards the end of the movie, there's just a – it's like it was rushed or something. Maybe they should have added a little – maybe they should have added like 30 minutes of exposition or something because – Towards, like, at first it's just like, oh, it's a horror movie and there's paranormal things happening. I don't get it, but it's scary and it's cool, right? And then at the end it's like, you are King Payman and you are here to summon Satan. It, it, it's like, it's completely like, what? How did we get here? Um, It was still an, in, an enjoyable show. I'm not going to knock it. It was an enjoyable show or an enjoyable movie, an enjoyable viewing, an enjoyable experience. Probably would have been better in theaters. It was annoying. Um, we tried to watch it on YouTube on my computer. The volume was way too low, so we had to travel downstairs and play it off the sound bar. First world problems, right? Good movie. A, a little confusing, especially at the end. Definitely better than A24 Studios' Men. This is a better horror movie. I think the actors in this movie, at least the important actors, 
did their job well. Maybe not the little girl so much, although she's a little girl. I'm not going to say, like, you little 8-year-old, 9-year-old, get better at acting. Even though she's supposed to have played a 13-year-old girl. <clears throat> yeah, like, you're not going to say that, right? But the mom and the son, I think, were really, really good. It was it was just a great movie. Things start to take a turn and make very little sense uh, towards the end of the movie. But I don't think it ruins the movie. I just think it ruins this movie from being one of my favorite A24 movies. The reason I even watched this is because um, I came across some YouTube video where the YouTuber was making a list of his top 20 favorite A24 movies. He put Hereditary at number one. And I thought, well, hey, screw it. Let's give it a watch. If this is a good movie, let's give it a watch. I want to see the best uh, A24 movie that exists. Um, so far, my favorite A24 movies are The Lighthouse, The Witch, Midsummer, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. And one I want to watch is Spring Breakers. I never actually wanted to watch that movie, but knowing that it's an A24 movie, it's going to have some value to it. It's got to have some value. Um, <clears throat> so, I think you guys should watch this movie. It's not the best A24 movie that exists, but I quite liked it. If I was going to give it a rating out of 10, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Enjoyable. Scary. Like, the horror aspects of it are pretty horrific. Again, it, it, it I think the end just needs some in-depth analysis. Maybe I'm just not understanding something deep about the movie. But the end of... Hereditary is very, very strange. Otherwise, good movie. Good shots. Good shots just like men, although men had the better cinematography. Um, I'll even say the the story, the directing, everything was good. It, it, I just don't understand the ending. I just don't understand the ending. <clears throat> All right, that's Ooze Pops review. I'll see you next time.